Something I get asked quite often is what exactly is my Blender Precision Modeling workflow? Because I show precision mesh modeling, and I also show exactly how to use CAD Sketcher. I also show a little bit of the Precision Boolean workflow, and also I'm starting to dabble with geometry nodes. So what exactly is it that I use? Well, this here is my Blender Precision Modeling workflow, and honestly, I'm a little bit lazy. So first, we need a problem. And the problem that I'm wanting to fix today is this right here. My computer is on some little blocks of feet, and that is because I am on a standing desk here, and even my standing desk needs to be on blocks of feet because I am so tall. And that means that some of the cables just don't quite reach up to the top of my desk, so I need to raise my computer up just a tiny bit so that all the cables raise up without too much tension on them. So that's what we're gonna be solving. The first First thing I do is just get some very easy dimensions, and that's pretty simple. Get some calipers, measure it all up, and then I'm going to head over to Blender. Now, this is what I do. I just get it done. I don't bother with CAD Sketcher. I don't bother with geometry nodes. If this is honestly the 80% or 90% of the designs that I'm doing, which is to fix a quick little problem around the house, I usually have an idea in my head, and I'm just going to get it made. So usually, it's the Boolean non-destructive workflow or destructive because it can be really quick to just design destructively really quickly. So I'm going to go and get those dimensions into my first idea here. Now you see there's a couple of other little shapes here because I realized that the back of the foot was actually hollow and I decided that's I'm going to have it slide in there instead of just sticking them on underneath. I'm still going to stick on the back ones because they don't have a little hollow spot. But with that Done, I have my first design right here. And one thing that I absolutely love about nowadays is that we have some nice, really quick printers like the printer behind me, which is the Quiddy X Max 3. So let's go and get that printed. That only took about 15 minutes to print, and we have our final results right here. Let's test that fit out. And of course, I screwed something up here. Two things. One, the little rubber foot underneath the computer. I didn't take that into consideration when I was doing my dimensions. So I've got to accommodate for that little rubber foot. Plus, I must have screwed up a dimension here because it wasn't wide enough either. So I go right back into Blender, and all I do, because I'm using the sort of non-destructive workflow here of the booleans inside the blender is I just move two faces to the right place and I straight away go and get that printed once again. A quick little 15 minute print later and lo and behold, I have it ready to go. We're gonna go and test the fit of this new version right now and it's looking good. It's fitting in place and nothing seems to be pushing in any wrong place and it's just staying there. Okay, so from there, I'm just gonna go back into Blender and now polish this off. I'm going to do a mirror duplicate of this and I'm gonna create some little blocks for the back feet that I'll stick on. And then I also want to sort of cut down on the plastic, make it look cool as well. So I'm just gonna do some cutouts right here and get those printed. Now, printing this on the Quiddy X Max 3 only takes about an hour to do. And lo and behold, there it is. I'm going to get these all into place. And that there is my problem now solved. Now, I hope you can see how quick that really was. From the problem all the way to solution, I can get that done in literally maybe 10 minutes of designing and an hour or two of printing. So in three hours, I have everything there and sorted. I don't really like working through CAD Sketcher, as well as geometry nodes when it comes to 3D printing projects like this. Because honestly, it sometimes takes even longer to go ahead and design an entire sketch based on that, and put all the constraints in, and then once you've got all the constraints, go forward from there. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't a place and time for that, but most of the time, for me anyway, when it comes for things that I'm gonna be 3D printing and fixing around the house, I just wanna get it done and dusted. But you can go ahead and get things as complicated as this done quite quickly. These lovely little things here, you might be wondering what exactly they are. Well, let me show you. A little bit of wood and putting that on like this, and now I have a lovely monitor stand. 
Now, this here was actually all created through a destructive workflow. And I was able to design all that up in literally just 20 minutes. Now, I personally believe that it's sometimes just getting the job done that's the most important. It doesn't necessarily have to be what's right or what other people think is right. It's very much getting creative and just getting making. All right there. That there is my Blender Precision Modeling workflow. If you want to check out that nice fast printer that I have behind me, it's linked down in the description. And massive thank you to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for watching and keep making.